a long overdue car update on the C-Class. As you can see I already had it covered up for winter but I figured I'd make an update video real quick. So what you can see right away I got these 90 spec orange blinkers to our turn signals now and new wheels again so those are AMG styling 3 I think 8.5 by 17 in the rear and 7.5 by 17 in the front I got the Kumho's on there again so Kumho Extra XS in 220, 25, 45, 17 in the front and 245, 40, 17 in the rear. What I've also done this year, I upgraded the brakes in the front. So in the front those are W210 E420, so the V8 brakes, 4 port ATE braking system with 316 millimeter discs yeah so they are a pretty cheap up upgrade I got uh, both front calipers used for 100 euros and discs and pads were around 100 euros as well and you have to change the hubs also if you have a car that is pre-94 or 94 and so I changed the hubs as well the hubs are now W210 hubs or hubs for a C-Class or W202 from 95 on and that is because the spacing is different there's a 5 mil difference in spacing and when you don't change the hubs, the calipers would interfere with the brake rotors. So that is a must. But I upgraded the front brakes and cost me around 250 to 300 euros all parts complete. What else? I got this cheap Chinese. <laughs> Radio controlled locking system now. It's nothing special, but I figured I'd show you. On the inside, nothing has changed really. Nothing at all, actually. But under the hood, something has really changed. So as you can see now, I got my freshly built M104992 engine in, which is the 3.2 liter version. And yeah, I drove around about 2000 kilometers this season and had no real issues. And as you can see, I built an airbox. So, complete new induction system, if you want to call it that. 4 inch intake, recirculated PCV, and under there, in this box, there's a recirculated blow off valve as well. So, a fake Chinese tile 50 mil Q, so the closed version. What else? Yeah. I have drive-by wire throttle now, as you can see, I know, or you can't see, but I have drive-by wire throttle now, and I got rid of the um, of the idle air control valve, which was here. I had this bypass here between here and the intake manifold, where I had this two-wire PWM controlled. IAC valve 
and that is gone now. I have drive by wire throttle and this does the idle as well, which cleaned up the engine bay a bit. What I have also done is I'm reusing the regeneration, so the MOT valve for the tank ventilation, which works now as well, but only because I have placed this, um, what do you call it, this one-way valve, because the boost would crack this regeneration valve open. So I put this check in check valve here, and this prevents from boost from getting inside of here. What else I had planned to make the switchable intake usable again, but that was a failure because I couldn't get it to seal. So everything above points point three point four bar, the seals wouldn't hold anymore and where the shaft from the flap which sits inside of here normally goes through through the plate it wouldn't seal against the shaft anymore so that is an an issue so i put the block of plate back again what else i cleaned the engine bay up a bit as you can see probably yeah redid parts of the wiring harness to the engine yeah so far the car has been driving with no big issues um, but one big issue again is the clutch which gives me trouble just doesn't want to hold so it's the next project the clutch again <laughs> Um, what else? I put a different differential in it. So from the factory this has a 3.67 final drive which was pretty short with the 6-speed transmission and that's why I changed it up for a 3.07 so the gearing is now like it has the 5 speed with an over overdrive. So the car would technically run way over 300 km an hour in 6th gear now. And the diff for this car was not that easy to get because the 307 diffs didn't came in a lot of 3 channel ABS cars and it came only in the C220 I think and the C220 has a 185 millimeter diff but with different flanges so I had to change the flanges over so I bought another diff which I took the flanges off so I converted this 307 diff to the big um, drive shaft and axle flanges now so it has 110 100 millimeter bcd drive shaft flange and the 110 millimeter od axle flanges now and so far this has been running pretty good but yeah not a lot of kilometers this year and just issues with the slipping clutch but reliability was it was okay